Some people just have to see something to understand it. Number Neighbors let students see math concepts in a concrete, visual, hands-on way, then transfers this understanding to paper and pencil application. Let me show you a few of the concepts using this visual right-brain approach along with the analytical left-brain approach, the concrete and the abstract together. To begin with, what you need to know is that the blocks are designed so that they have a unique shape and value. So for example, the 10 can be used as a pattern to build other stacks of 10 simply by fitting that shape. Now we know that 6 plus 4 is 10 because we can add, but a 4-year-old knows it's 10 because it fits the number 10. And it is any combination of numbers that fit together that will work. For example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is the same thing as our 6 plus 4, but it is again also the same thing as our 10. This is an example of a patterning activity as well as a demonstration of the concepts of synthesis, numbers coming together, and analysis, numbers coming apart. Numbers are made of lots of other numbers, not just a series of ones. However, if I'd like to demonstrate that series of ones coming together, I could show a problem such as 5 plus 3. If I turn these, top, these two blocks over and fill them with the marbles, I can demonstrate that there are three marbles in one block and yet five in another, and when I push those two together, I could have the student count them, but that's nothing different than counting on fingers. What I'd like for them to do is to find the one block that fits this shape perfectly. You notice how the six has the right shape, but it's a little too small. And so I go for a shape that's the same, but is a little bit larger, the 10, but you notice it's too big. And so right away I can demonstrate a concept such as greater than and less than. The answer to 5 plus 3 is greater than 6, but less than the 10. And the one block that fits this pattern perfectly is the correct answer of 8. <clears throat> what I'd like them to see, though, is that 8 is the same thing as the 5 plus the 3. However, it is also the same thing as 8 ones. The difference is this is a concept of quantity, and this is a concept of number, a place on the, on the number line. So that if I ask the question, I began with eight marbles, and I take five of those away, how many are left? How many is a question of quantity that they can count. But what number plus five equals eight is a question of algebraic thinking, and that answer is the three. Another concept you can show with the number neighbors blocks and marbles is two and three digit regrouping. For example, say we have 45 minus a 28 on our board. I can show them the totals of 45 and 28 by using the blocks on top of the numbers. But the answers of 45, or the number of 45, when I turn those top two blocks over, I can represent the 5 by placing 5 ones into the ones column. 5 red marbles is in the ones column. In the, yellow, in the tens column, I can use the yellow marbles to represent 4 tens for a total here of 45. When I try to subtract the 8 from the 5, you'll notice that there's a problem. The 8 won't fit because it's obviously too large. And to def so to fix this problem, what I need are more red marbles in this 1's column. To get more red marbles, I go to the number neighbor bank, where I'm the teller, and you would actually trade in one of your 10's, and I would give you 10 of my 1's, and they are equal in value. And so when I make that trade, I do not place the red marbles into the yellow column, the tens column, because they, one, don't match in color, but also because they're different place value amounts. I do slide the red marbles into the ones column, and now I show that where I once had four, I now have three. And that's why the three is in the tens column. And where I once had five, that five has now become a 15, because there are 15 ones. And when I subtract eight of those ones, I find out that there are seven remaining. And when I subtract two of those tens, I find that there is one remaining. And so the answer to 45 minus 28 is 17. Other concepts you can show with the number neighbor's blocks are multiplication and division. For now, I'm just going to show you a division problem. On the board, I have written 30 divided by 7 which the analytical approach would say multiply by 4 and you get 28, subtract that and you have a 2, which becomes our remainder. For the visual learner, however, I need to demonstrate where those numbers came from and how they work together. And so the 30 I'm actually going to create with the blocks as three stacks of 10. 
three stacks of 10 becomes our total in the middle of 30. And out of that 30, I'm actually going to try and subtract sevens by removing or pulling out sevens from within this stack. And every time I do that, I'm actually subtracting a seven. The first seven that I'm subtracting will look like this. And if I match that shape, I'll actually continue to build sevens. The first seven I'll pull out or subtract looks like this, so that's my second seven. The next seven, the third one is found here. And the fourth seven looks like this. And again, my remainder is on top, which is a two. And so I've demonstrated that four groups of seven equals 28, and we had our remainder of two on top. What I love about this approach is that it demonstrates that the two over the seven is actually our beginning introduction to fractions. To both the student that needs to see and the teacher trying to teach for understanding, Number Neighbors is a powerful, proven visual learning tool that you can use to teach all of the basic math concepts from pre-K through fourth grade.